all right y'all jonathan joiner hunt the front it is uh, a little afternoon on saturday and i am running late getting out here to the big shop to work on the new capital we uh stayed out there pretty late working on it last night got a good bit done and then i edited that video and uploaded it this morning so hope you check that out the goal for today is to get out here to the shop and get this thing cranked up uh, we took the motor right out of the old 56 car put it in the new capital and we're trying to get it all together for the uh southern 100 it's next weekend thursday night practice 3000 friday 7000 win saturday got a lot done i think we everything goes as planned we should be able to make it hopefully to practice thursday night but still a long ways to go we need to get this thing fired up today and have that part of it done where we can start focusing on the little odds and ends stuff and uh setup stuff see that kind of thing daddy and michael are already out here i know um i was dragging a little bit this morning and i had to run get some parts i did pick up some crystal burgers i don't know about y'all but as far as shop food goes those are hard to beat also got the big florida georgia game on today we'll have it going in the shop y'all try not to y'all don't hold it against me i might cheer for florida a little bit we can all cheer for different teams and still be friends the way i look at it but you will have it on in the shop anyway pulling up out here at the shop get in here and get to work maybe we'll fire this thing up uh before we leave this evening y'all hang out and we'll have a good time all right joseph's car is officially a table <laughs> till he gets over here and gets to work they uh daddy and michael been hard at it carburetor's on the battery we were struggling we were struggling with the battery last night i didn't put that in the video but our 16 volt battery didn't fit there it sits on the floor so we put a uh regular 12 volt in and it fit this is what we were missing last night our gauge panel this is pretty neat it's high dollar but it's pretty neat everything comes wired and ready to go in the car so we can put that in there and hook it up and we'll have gauges and switches um i think over here is for a tack we have to get us a fancy tack uh and i think we need a fuel pressure line and an oil pressure line didn't come with it but that's pretty cool setup they got there i see what's going on what's going on saving the best for last what you talking oh the oil cooler yeah the most fun you mean it's not saving it. <laughs> it ain't gonna be fun. the old cooler's got to go in and i did get oil we gotta change it i also picked up some oil and oil filter we gotta change the oil put the oil cooler in that came off the 56 car some of y'all made fun of us for our heater but it gets the job done they said we're in florida we don't need a heater <laughs> yeah it is a small one i told them we and we they used to call this lower alabama you know what i mean like we ain't in miami <laughs> we on the north end it does get cold yeah. you draining oil what are you doing i'm taking the filter off now all right that big drain bucket gonna do it Oh yeah, I'm through with it. Oh okay. Oh, you already drained though. If you take that out and dump it for me, I'll let them tell you. Let you tell them about your new video. Then you go watch. Okay. <laughs> Man, what you gonna bribe me with? <laughs> we'll figure that out. There's the super motor. Some of y'all were asking about the super motor. We haven't done anything with it. That's gonna be a over the winter project. We'll get that um, later. We're all spin out. Am I hitting the hole? Yeah, you doing it? You doing it? Do it, Bobby. Do it, Bobby. I figured I'd be wearing it. Well, you ain't done yet. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> There's the old cooler. There's where it goes. Where it rides. Hold on, we're in a bind. Alright. Uh, still, is it gone? Y'all got it. It's upside down. Yeah, y'all gotta turn yeah, it over, don't you? It come off the car, y'all. Really? Did it have some kind of spacers or something? We're gonna take these brackets off and just mount it straight up to the bottom. Right up under this right here. Yeah. Okay. Instead of it had the brackets on the fifty six. Right. So we're just gonna put it flush right to here. To flush right. All right. There. Sounds good. Yep. Ah. Rare footage <laughs> of Jonathan actually working. All right. There. That's ready. Alright, alright. You going under? Going under. Well, we just want to mark it and then I'm going to pull this thing out of the way. Okay, hold on. Diagonal corners, maybe? Yeah, that sounds good. Can you reach it? Way. Let me try to do it. it. 
Don't let it get away from you. Stick it above that now. Oh yeah, I hold that. The cover's right behind the... Does it need to go through the same bolts? No, I, that's why I stuck it up there a minute ago. It's gonna go in the corner and okay. it's not gonna be in the way we can mount it after right, the fact. Okay. I got that one started. Mount it for me. Good bracket. It's got a good stiff edge on it. Yeah, because it's right here at this seam right here. All right. Watch your eyes. Whoop. They tighten that. Rookie down there with a the drill. With a, see, he was drilling up. It didn't have to be tight. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I even got a hold of the rivet. Got it. That's tight. All right. Yeah, so, it needs to run down this way, right? Yeah, that one goes to the oil. Do they all run behind, both run know, behind? We're just gonna have to get right here and kind of... See. Let me go away. Just gotta hold your mouth right. Uh, we're gonna have to pull this hose back quite a bit. Uh, I, think it's gonna, I think it's gonna go up underneath. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I need. It'd be the easier one. Oil's going in. He got to have them out, ain't eh? There's one. Bumble! Bumble! <laughs> Y'all gonna make me spill this. I'm going to turn around. A little bitty clutch fitting and screws in. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Go. Get up, Phil. Turn it up. First down. All right. The shop washer, shop scene on there. Oil's in. Open it up. We'll have to get it just right when I get in there. I use a bolt. Don't get comfortable in there. Get this dash in there since you're already in there, Justin. All right. Look at that. That's pretty, yeah, I think that's what these holes are for. They're already all we need. Oh, good. Uh, I mean, seriously. Quarter inch bolts. Quarter inch bolts. I think it'll bolt right up. Shoot. You want them? You going to line up? Got yeah. drill holes? Are there holes there already? There's holes there. Are they quarter inch? Quarter bolts? inch. They're already tapped. All right. So all, right. That's all we got to do. We got oil pressure, water temp, oil temp, and fuel pressure they're quick car and the gauges light up so like if you get you know hot it'll turn red or whatever let you know if you don't have oil pressure we got water temp oil temp this one is the second one is water, water temp, all temp, and fuel pressure. That one is. Hold on, hold on. Where you want? How you want to run it? Right uh, that's a lot for water temp. Let me know when it gets hot. Which hopefully you won't. Yeah, we won't have that issue. There is a right and wrong way to wrap Teflon. In case yeah. anyone ever is wondering. Make sure you show them the right way. This is the right way. You hold it in your left hand and you come from the bottom. See, when you're tightening it, Mm -hmm. You'll be wrapping it the same way I wrapped it. You, if you did it the other way, 
you would you might possibly spin that Teflon off of there. Right. So Jesse taught him something today. One oh one. Need a half inch. You're gonna need a half inch to hold it. It won't fit. Oh good lord. Uh, it's too big. All this little stuff they got. What yeah, Lee. <laughs> ah! So, we got to know what size we need so we can order the right the right fuel pressure or oil pressure line. Probably need to check them both. Mm -hmm. Need to check them both. Yep. All right, well. We need two of them. We're going to have to order that or get it from the, the parts store. Half time in the game, Florida's down by 10, and we got to have some oil pressure and fuel pressure lines. Dang, Jesse. Always something. Always something. So the issue on our fuel pressure, our gauges, our fuel pressure line, our oil pressure line came off the 56, but the fittings are smaller, so we're either going to have to have some, some different lines or some different fittings to go uh, on the gauges. You got the wrenches you need down there? I think so. You got her pretty close to that in there. You got them cut? Yeah, I try not to see. Try. This is the first time I've climbed in here. Alright, closest one to me is high and low. That should be low. There's high. Locked up. Should be neutral. Should be reverse. We should be back in neutral. Should be back in neutral. Yep. Everything worked good there. George about to score another touchdown. There they go. Golly. Yeah. Ugly. It is ugly. Yeah. I gotta get a bit done. All right. I think we got a lot done, but we didn't didn't get the motor crank, but. That's all right, but we did. But we got a lot of work done. Still got a lot to do. One is get that seat mounted in there. But anyway, they got the carburetor on. We got the gauges in it and switches, but we still gotta do all the wiring. Uh, Daddy got the shifter hooked up. He's about done with that. Lord is not doing all that great. Get him, get him, get him. Oh goodness. Oh. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. They appreciate it. <laughs> You got some crystals left? Huh? You got some crystals left? Yeah. One crystal. <laughs> Made it through the day. We got a little bit done, but like I said, we didn't get to crank it. The way it goes, we'll get that next. Anyway, I think we got uh, getting a closer game here. Florida just scored, so fourth quarter, we're going to watch that and call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Like, subscribe, comment. See you later.